This doesn't feel real. China's 4DV AI just released something that could change how we think about video forever. It's called 4D Gaussian splatting, and it transforms regular 2D videos into interactive, volumetric 4D scenes with sound. Let's pause for a second. Imagine watching a movie and being able to rotate the camera, change the angle, zoom in and out. Not during production. After it's been shot. All from a flat video. That's what 4D Gaussian splatting enables. Here's what's really happening. Most of us are familiar with 3D Gaussian splatting. It's a method that turns point clouds into fuzzy 3D visual representations, rendered in real time. Extremely efficient, lightweight, and stunningly realistic. But now, 4DV AI has taken it a step further, with time. This is no longer about static 3D views. We're talking about dynamic scenes, motion, action, sequences that you can interact with. 4D Gaussian splatting brings time into the equation, capturing how things evolve frame by frame, but rendered in a way that's optimized and compressed for real-time performance. And it's fast. This model renders full 4D video scenes at 82 frames per second, at 800 by 800 resolution, on an RTX 3090. That means this isn't theoretical, it's practical, right now. So how does it work? Instead of treating each frame as a separate 3D volume, 4D Gaussian splatting introduces a combined representation. It mixes 3D Gaussian points with what's called 4D neural voxels. These neural voxels store spatial and temporal data together. They don't just describe what a scene looks like, but how it moves and changes over time. A new encoding method, inspired by Hexplane, efficiently builds features from these 4D voxels. Then a lightweight neural network predicts how those Gaussians should deform over time. The result. Motion that's smooth, accurate, and editable, all in real time. Some developers have already started re-implementing parts of it. One person made a real-time WebGL renderer that handles over 1.3 million splats. Others are open-sourcing custom versions of the training pipeline. We're seeing the first steps of this tech going from paper to production. What makes this so powerful isn't just the visual fidelity, it's the compression and speed. It's capable of storing massive video datasets in compact formats. Think video as data, compressed into something that's efficient to render and interact with. Now think about the possibilities. Interactive films where the viewer controls the perspective. Sports replays where you can move around the action. Educational simulations that respond to your viewpoint. Or games that blend pre-rendered scenes with full 3D navigation, without ballooning the file size. This goes far beyond nerfs. Nerfs changed how we think about static 3D reconstructions. 4D Gaussian splatting is about motion. Complex, real-time, high-resolution motion, stored efficiently and rendered instantly. And it's not just visuals. This system retains audio, so now we're also talking about interactive 4D scenes with synchronized sound. Fully immersive, portable, and streamable. The implications are massive, for film, gaming, AR, VR, and beyond. We're entering a future where videos won't be limited to flat rectangles on a screen. They'll be dynamic objects. Scenes you can explore. Memories you can revisit from any angle. This is only the beginning. 4DV AI may have just given us a glimpse of what the future of storytelling looks like. If you found this as fascinating as I did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the most exciting innovations in AI and visual technology. And let me know in the comments, what would you do if you could walk through a moment, like a memory, in 4D?